Hey guys, Zominator100 here, doing a quick video of um, some of my safe queens, and these two of the four are up for sale slash trade. Um, let's start off with the ones that are not up for sale slash trade. This is just um, a little cheapo knife I got in Alaska, fun little thing. Real cheap, thin liner lock made in China. Stainless says on the blade says stainless China. But I like to use this as a backup blade because you can really beat on this. And liner lock never fails because there's a really deep set in there. See that? But um, that's for this. It has a bear on it, which is kind of cool. With the salmon. Nice little thing. And also, in my safe clean, I'll close it up for you first. You can guess this. It's the Kershaw Skyline. Well, why is this a safe queen? Well, mainly for the blade itself. Um, I don't know too much about this, if you guys could tell me. Right here, it is first production, one out of 500. Out of the Kershaw knives. Great, great knife. Still hair shaving sharp. Now, let's see if I can't get a little bit of a piece of paper or something. There's this. Beautiful, still, still razor, razor sharp. Try and keep it in as good condition I can. If anybody knows anything about this, let me know. That'd be great. Great, great knife. I plan on getting um, a normal one. That way, I can make it more of a user. Cause kind of not really jumping into using this so far. And let's get into the ones that are up for sale. These are uh, custom knives and they're very unique um, one-of-a-kind type custom knives hence custom first is a hunting folder knife with a clip point blade and it has hand stone inlays with turquoise it has opal um, ghost different d different types of it's black pearl in there lots of different types of stones very very beautiful knife it's um, actually a functioning knife. It's very sharp. Has a very nice tip to it, and uh, has a good, good lock on it as well. Nice solid lock. It's not not too stiff, and I can open this with one hand. So that's kind of cool. I keep this also in for some fairly nice condition. Here, let me wipe this off real quick. Got some fingerprints on it just now, but. It's a nice, nice knife. Um, this is made, handmade by a guy who lives in Alaska. I do not have the name of him right now, but this is some of his custom work. Very beautiful looking knife. This is um, for trade or for sale. If any of you guys are out there or interested in anything, maybe trade it, sell it. I, I don't really know. Just kind of looking to get some more users or a different collector's piece. Um... And let's go on to this other one. This one's a fixed blade. Has a handmade leather sheath. This is very nice, high quality leather with um, woven back right there. And it is made by Silver Stag. Yeah, and it is uh, made in the USA, Silver Stag. Has uh, genuine stag handles with uh, kind of uh, brass looking bolsters right there very nice has a button release which is very good at holding it in there no problems of it ever falling out also has a good belt loop if you ever decided to carry this I don't know why you would but here's the knife itself fixed blade and this is a random Damascus it's a combination of the circular and the squiggly and which makes it a randomized Damascus steel very very beautiful looking knife with the Damascus on the blade and the it's a full tang as well blade runs throughout the entire handle has um, a little finger choil further up so if you wanna hold on to it nicely and grip it get your if you ever decide to make this a user you could and that's this it's very pretty has a nice polish on the edge if you can see that let me try Right there, nice shiny polish with a darker Damascus blade. 
compared to, I don't know, I just, I'll just compare it to the cheap one of just the normal stainless, how it's got that real shine. You can see the detail in the Damascus. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Really nice stack handles. It has a good weight to it. Um, nice and comfortable, comfortable knife. Also, as well, very, very sharp. And it's uh, more of a edge for, it's like a bushcraft type edge or a skinning edge. And it's a very nice knife. I've used this only once. And that was to cut some paper just to see how sharp it was. And so that's this. It's the Silver Stag, which is also up for sale slash trade. Uh, if you want, if you're interested, just uh, talk to me about prices or what you're interested in. Let's see, I got this, it's about 120 and this one is um, about 90 with the custom stone inlays. I mean, if you wanted to, you could even disassemble, I don't know why you would, but it's beautiful, beautiful inlays, set by hand, no machines. Very, very nice knife. So this is probably my favorite one out of all of them, just because of the, like, it's more of an artwork. It's very, very, like, nice looking. It's very pleasing to the eye. Kind of, the stones kind of remind me of Spyderco's Koopas. Uh, they're newer ones with the, uh, with their stone inlays. It's very cool, except uh, this one is itself one of a kind. There isn't a single knife out there that is exactly like this. He has made other st custom stone inlay uh, hunter folders, but the inlays look very different for all of them. And this one appealed to me the most, so I got that. It has very shiny silver looking assembly. So that's um, Safe Queen slash Knives for Sale. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any interest in the last two, uh, PM me and we'll talk about it or try and figure something out. Uh, thank you very much. This has been Zamanator 100. Peace.